it is time to pull a lafreniere. Welcome back, everybody. Thank you so much for joining me today. I am super excited. I've got the brand new 2020 2021 Upper Deck Series 1. It's already gone up in price. This was $130 Canadian, uh, but I did get an extra overtime Wave 1 pack. So, pretty sure everyone knows what we're looking for. For in here. It is the Alexis Lafreniere Young Guns or Young Guns Canvas or a high gloss or exclusives of his. That would be pretty amazing. So I'm going to go pretty quickly through this because I'm really excited. But uh, just to start off, I've got a, a special overtime pack here. I believe autographs are uh, actually they are one in 60 here. So um, usually they're a little, I don't know, easier to get. I've in the past I've seen one in 40, but um, that's all right. Hopefully we can still get something good here. A little bonus here for uh, this video. Mario Ferrero, these are the overtime cards. Ethan Bear, Nick Suzuki, second year card, and Jonathan Taves, center of excellence. All right, so uh, just a little bonus here. Now, without further ado, let's get into the box. Okay, so I've removed the wrapping here and the sticker, and uh, let's just go here. I'm super hyped up. We've got uh, the Synergy 2021 Bounty Program, a uh, little promo, and there you go. So, uh, hopefully we're going to get something awesome. If I don't get the uh, Lafreniere, I'd like to get one of the halves. We've got uh, Jake Evans and Alex Berzil in this set. Um, packs actually feel a little fatter than in the past, but, uh, yeah, we'll have to see if uh, we can hit anything, uh, good like that. And there's also the, uh, Nick Robertson one for the leaf switches. He's a pretty promising prospect as well. And you've also got uh, Gabe Velarde. So, uh, there's also Bowen Byram. So yeah, there's definitely a ton of names. Here are the odds on the back and I'm just going to jump in. I don't want to, uh, bore you guys with too much information here to start things off and we'll just... See what these cards look like here, and I think we've got a Young Guns in the first pack. So, William Carlson, this is the base. I don't know what I think about this. It's, uh, I don't know. Definitely a step back from the uh, past couple years. I still think that 18-19 uh, was the best. I don't know, this kind of looks like uh, maybe 06-07, or maybe it was 07-08. But I don't love it, but I also don't hate it. Alex Debrinkit, Brady Shea, Oscar Clefbaum, and our first Young Guns is Alex Belzil! Yeah! I'll take that! There you go, Montreal Canadian in pack one. I'm already happy, and uh, I mean, there you go. There's a bit of, I don't know if that's chipping there on the top. Um, it's not actually focusing, but uh, I mean, that's a very nice looking card. That's the uh, Young Guns design for uh, this season. And uh, Belzil, he played six games during the return to the playoffs, so that's pretty cool. Uh, there's a bit of foil there on the bottom. Yeah, it looks quite nice. I'm a, I'm a fan of the Young Guns. I guess I'll put these here on the left. Um, then we got a few more base cards. I saw the Alex, though, and I got a little too excited. Um, Martin Jones, Philip Forsberg, and Rasmus Dahlin. I believe that's his uh, third year card now. So, uh, wow. I mean, I remember when he was just getting drafted. Feels like yesterday, but uh, no, not anymore. <laughs> um, and actually, we've got another Young Guns coming up. Jacob Truba, Joe Pavelski, Alex Ayafalo, and Igor Zamula, Young Guns for the Flyers. Okay, that's uh, not a massive name, but uh, Young Guns nonetheless. Maybe he'll turn into something. Um, and then we've got Josh Manson, Carter Hutton, uh, Neil Pionk, and Jordan Eberle. I'm not the biggest fan of the base cards, to be honest. I mean, even the Young Guns, I've, they look okay, um, but I've seen better years in the past for sure. Um, but I mean, still decent looking. The packs actually look pretty brutal in my opinion, but, uh, <laughs> that doesn't really matter because we're shredding them. Uh, Letty, Merzlikens, Mrazek, Gallagher, and the Uni portraits of Elias Pettersson. Now this is interesting. It kind of looks like a, a 90s upper deck card, but it definitely feels like a more modern card. Um, I mean, I wish the uh, feel was a little more uh, like those 90s ones, but it looks really nice for a UD Portraits. The back is super funky as well. So uh, there you go. That's our first Portraits of Pedersen. We got Carlson, Philip Ronick, and Jonathan Marchessault. Okay, so uh, 24 packs in a hobby box of this, and... Uh, Eight cards in every pack. There's also the uh, Case Hit Signature Sensations cards, which uh, we could get one of those. That'd be pretty fun. 
We've got uh, Hampus Lindholm, Jack Eichel, Mathieu Perrault, and, ooh, this is one of the predominant cards of Leon Dreisaitl. That looks uh, interesting. Almost uh, looks like a base card. But uh, I guess that's an insert right there. And then we've got Duncan Keith, Trocek, Miko Koskinen, and Jakob Silverberg. So uh, how rare are those uh, predominant cards? Let's see. Those fall... I can't even find them. Oh, there you go. 1 in 12. So we're going to get 2 per box. I mean, those are decent looking, um, but uh, yeah, I don't know. Not the uh, biggest fan of them. Okay, so uh, we've got Pavel Zaka, Jason Zucker, Jonathan Bernie. I like that shot a lot. And a Jonathan Quick UD Canvas. That is an amazing shot from the uh, outdoor game with the uh, Colorado Avalanche. And uh, wow, very nice shot on the back as well. So yeah, I'm a big fan of the canvas this year. Uh, that's really, really nice looking. We've also got uh, Matt Duchesne, Aaron Ekblad, and the Eunice Donskoy, and Darcy Kemper on the back. That's a pretty cool shot of him as well. All right, so uh, let's keep on going. Do we have a thicker? Yeah, we've got a thicker card here. So it seems like we have uh, got a, a jersey hit, which those are quite rare now, so that's pretty nice. We've got Ricard Raquel, Shea Weber, and Adrian Kempe, UD Game Jersey. So, uh, White Swatch, nothing really special, but uh, if you're a Kings fan, maybe you'd appreciate this card right here. And then we've got uh, Drew Doughty, Noah Hannafin, and Carter Hart. Very nice. All right, let's keep on flying down uh, this left stack of packs. Hopefully we can get something big here. I think another Portraits, maybe. Tyler Myers, Kevin Fiala, Chris Letang, and, oh wow, okay, this is one of the new Dazzlers inserts. That looks kind of nice. Um, yeah, that's really cool. Okay, uh, Nikita Kucherov. And uh, the cards are actually falling down there on the left. I'll try and straighten them out. So we've got Tomas Tatar, Travis Anheim, Mikhail Backlund, and Sasha Barkov. Okay, so what about these uh, Dazzlers? How hard are those to pull? Well, the UD Game Jersey is 1 in 36. Um, and the Dazzlers, those fall 1 in 24. Actually, no, that's a pink one. So that's 1 in 144. So that's actually really rare. So that's uh, quite nice. But I don't know if they're going to get uh, much value there on the secondary market. But uh, we'll have to see. We've got Philip Zadina, Tevo Teravainen. UC Saros, and then another John Tavares, and then another predominant, this one being of Kyle Connor. Super underrated Kyle Connor. Um, and then just some more base cards. I'll try and go a little faster through the base because uh, we're really in here for the young guns, hoping for uh, the Lafreniere. But we'll have to see. I think maybe another portrait's coming now. We've got uh, Gibson. Some more base cards, Kane and Alexander Barkov, UD Portraits. Okay, all right, let's uh, keep on going here. Killorn, Riley, and Oliver Bjorkstrand. Okay, only a few more packs to go there on the left side, and then we'll be halfway through this opening. I haven't hit a uh, Young Guns in a while, and actually we've got one here, but I spoiled it. I saw it was a Shark logo, so Shesterkin, Besser, and Alexander True Young Guns. Okay, from uh, Denmark. Maybe he can turn into something, I don't know, Bennington, but, uh, ooh, and then we got the uh, checklist uh, for the base. Okay, two packs to go there on the left side, which means 14 left in total. We've hit three of our promised six young guns, and uh, yeah, I mean, we'll have to see if we can get anything else here. We've got Alex Tuck, Hedman, Bobby Ryan, McKinnon, and a Nathan McKinnon, UD Canvas, with him jumping. That's pretty cool, and then at the uh, outdoor game. So there you go, McKinnon, and then just some more base cards, and uh, yeah, I'm having trouble with the uh, focus today, but uh, I mean, always going to be some technical issues. We've got Mark Edward Flasic, Bergeron, a checklist, and NHL Worldwide of Tevo Teravainen. Interesting. <laughs> I don't know. Um, just got the flag there, and then him uh, superimposed over it. Eh, not the greatest looking card, but... Uh, it's interesting. Maybe uh, maybe some of you like it. Let's see, how hard are those to find? The uh, NHL Worldwide cards. Um, I don't know if I can even find them. Oh, NHL Worldwide. One in uh, 25, is it? Um, no, one in, one in 14. Whoops. There you go. <laughs> so, um, 
about halfway through this opening. We've got another uh, Young Guns coming up. Come on, let's see a big name here. Larkin, and that's okay. Tidalandria. Tidalandria, that's decent. Former first round pick, and I've got some base cards falling down on the side, which is awesome. Uh, yeah, that's just amazing. <laughs> um, and then we got some more base cards here. Okay, keep on going. Fingers are still, uh, well, fingers actually aren't crossed. Now they are. Um, <laughs> hoping for uh, something awesome. I've got another one coming up here. Kachuk, Nick Foligno, and then Spurgeon, Charlie Coyle, and that's good! Timothy Liljegren, Young Guns. Okay. I'll take that. Liljegren is uh, definitely a decent one to get for Toronto. Konechny, James Neal, and Drouin for Montreal. Okay, I will take that for sure. Liljegren, first round pick for the uh, Leafs a few years back. And uh, we may have one. No, I think we've got another portraits coming. Um, upside down card. That's interesting. Uh, and then Jake Evans. Wow. UD portraits rookies for the Habs. I'll take that. That's a uh, very nice looking. Okay. Um, and then just some more base cards. Ben Bishop, that looks uh, really cool. Um, okay, let's keep on going. We've only got one young gun to go, but uh, hopefully, I mean, it would, be, it would be so awesome to hit uh, one of those young guns exclusives or a uh, high gloss. That would be just so awesome. Um, but let's see. We've got Nola Chari, Kevin Hayes, and NHL debut dates of Dominic Kubelik. So there you go, a lot of uh, newer inserts this year. Miles Wood and uh, Philippe Grubauer. And uh, Grubauer's backup, Pavel Francois, also has a, a Young Guns in the set, which is quite interesting considering, uh, I mean, he, uh, he's he been around for quite some time now. So McDavid, Dano, Varlamov, um, Grimaldi, and Mika Zabanejad, UD Canvas. That's our third canvas, I think, so... Uh, not looking uh, like we might get uh, canvas young guns, but um, maybe we can uh, turn it around here with a, a few packs to go. Let's see. We've got uh, Girard, uh, Klingberg, Orlov, and actually, is that an old base pack? I didn't know you could uh, get these in hobby now, but uh, apparently so. Unless there's maybe a, a photo variation in one of these. I'm not quite sure. Um, do any of these look uh, different? Maybe the Orlov or... Uh, yeah, I don't know. I guess I'll just put this pack aside, but uh, maybe it doesn't mean anything. Maybe we do get um, base packs in uh, this new set. But uh, yeah, I don't know. <laughs> um, so only a few packs to go. Uh, only expecting one more young gun, but uh, maybe we'll get something else. And uh, here we go. We've got another Dazzlers. This is Mark Stone, and this is the blue one. So one in 24 packs, so guaranteed per box. Um, and then Jeff Petrie on the back. Very underrated defenseman. And uh, yeah, the cards are just slipping down everywhere. Okay, so uh, I believe four, maybe five packs to go. Uh, yeah, I think it's five. And uh, let's see what we can get here. Uh, Brayden Shen, Kempe, and what is this? Rookie retrospective of Igor Shesterkin. That's pretty nice. Um, I don't know if that's worth anything, but uh, quite nice looking. Landis Cog, Morrissey, and Connor Brown. Um, let's see. Rookie retrospective, one in 27. So not super hard to pull, but uh, still looks quite nice. Um, and then we've got another Portraits coming right up. We've got Zuccarello and Patrice Bergeron, UD Portraits, and then uh, Yanni Gould, and just some more base cards. Three to go now. One canvas left, maybe it could be canvas Young Gun. One Young Gun left to find, and I think it's right here. So let's see. Darnell Nurse, uh, Nazem Kadri, Nikolai Ehlers, and Pierre-Olivier Joseph Young Gun for the Penguins. Okay, former first round pick as well, but uh, not the one we were coming in here looking for. Two packs to go, maybe a bonus of, and of some sort, that would be pretty awesome. Let's see, we've got a few base cards here, Rasmus Dahlin, UD Canvas, that's our last of uh, the Canvas cards, and uh, just some more base cards. And uh, the final pack, and yeah, my base cards are just falling down on the, I won't even bother. <laughs> They're just falling down everywhere. Can we hit something amazing here in the last pack? Get some last pack mojo. Uh, I don't know. That would be pretty awesome, though. We've got uh, Dylan Strom, Adam Fox, Tyler Sagan, Braden Point, and no, we got a Jack Eichel predominant. Um, so there you go. That was uh, 
the box of Series 1. A little lackluster. I mean, we got Idex Bezid for my Habs. That's pretty awesome, in my opinion. And we also got the uh, Timothy Liljegren for the Leafs, which is uh, decent. I'll just do a quick insert recap. So to recap, this box, I mean, it wasn't fantastic. It was actually probably one of the weaker ones, but uh, we got a predominant of Dreisaitl, Kyle Connor, and Jack Eichel. Also got a uh, Tevo Teravine in NHL Worldwide. Got a debut dates of uh, Dominic Kubalik, and then a rookie retrospective of uh, Igor Shesterkin. Canvas cards were quick. McKinnon, Zabanejad, and Dahlin. We got the uh, very funky-looking portraits of uh, Pedersen, Barkov, rookie one of Jake Evans, and Bergeron. Then we got a uh, pink Dazzlers of Kucherov, as well as a blue one of Mark Stone. Adrian Kempe, uh, UD Game jersey. And then our young guns were Igor Zamula, Alex Belzil, Alexander True, Timothy Liljegren, Ty Delandria, and Pierre-Olivier Joseph. So... Not the best box, not the worst box, I don't think, but uh, you can let me know what you thought about it down below. Might get another one before uh, they go completely out of my price range, but uh, we'll see about that. Really hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, if you could give me a like down below and a subscribe, that would really mean a lot. It would help my channel grow and uh, would help me uh, forge some more of these boxes for you. So uh, <laughs> there you go. That was uh, this opening of Series 1. Let me know what you thought about it down below. And as always, I hope to see you all next time.